Well, we've talked many, many, many times about the most dangerous thing happening in America right now. The most dangerous thing is the national security apparatus turning all of its guns inward. Right now, the national security apparatus of America has reoriented itself to be aimed at you, to be aimed at the political opponents of Democrats. And I don't have to tell my next guest that Dexter Taylor, known as Carbon Mike, had himself a little visit from the ATF. Okay, Dexter, before we get to the raid, why don't you tell us about yourself and all this dangerous weapons dealing you've been doing? <laughs> don't start. <laughs> don't start that. <laughs> dangerous weapons dealing. So yeah, there was no dealing. <laughs> there was no dealing of any kind. Um, but yeah, backstory yeah. about me. I'm a I'm a lifelong New Yorker. Um, I, you know, born and bred. Um, I'm a 30 year veteran of the software industry. Um, I have a squeaky clean criminal record. That, that's probably the most important thing to say. Never any problems with the police. Um, I'm a licensed amateur radio operator, technician class. I'm sitting right now in the control room of the third recording studio I've built, the switching yard. Um, uh, and a f and I'm a, obviously I'm a conservative commentator online. For people who know me, they know my content on Twitter and so on and so forth. Um, and I post as Carbon Mike. Um, and so a few years ago, I became interested in gunsmithing. Uh, I found out that there were people who were taking what they called 80% receivers, legal parts that they bought, and attaching, you know, machining them to completion in their machine shops, attaching parts and come up with finished weapons. And I thought that was the coolest thing I'd ever heard of in my life. Um, the coolest, the most traditional. Um, and I couldn't wait to try it out because, again, ever since I was a kid, I've been kind of a nerd. Um, I used to subscribe to popular science as a kid. I used to geek out about tanks and fighter planes and rifles like any red-blooded American kid. So anyway, a few years ago, I started getting into gunsmithing. Um, I buy legal parts under my own name online, shipped to my house, no deceit, no subterfuge. I machine them to completion in my machine shop because I have a machine shop in my basement. I also build furniture and what have you. And... Um, I started with Glocks, Glock style pistols first, made, I don't know, five, six, seven of those. And then I made eight very sexy AR style rifles. Um, and uh, ne all this time, I never bragged about weapons. I never photographed weapons. I never brandished weapons. I never talked to people about weapons or about gunsmithing services of any kind. Um, uh, I didn't want to attract the wrong kind of energy. That's not what it was about. What it was about to me was starting my second career, hopefully, as a weapon science guy, bringing my experience as a data engineer, as a software guy, to weapon science. Um, and we can talk about that later if you like. But long story short, um, I was doing all my stuff. I was a member in good standing of my local gun range. I had signed up and taken a signed up for and taken a course to get my Utah concealed carry permit. Um, I had signed up for a, an online course called Rocket FFL because I wanted to find out what I'd have to do to buy some land in southern New Hampshire, get my FFL, and do this stuff for real. I was all in. In April of 2022, I was raided by a joint NYPD ATF task force. They broke down my door, uh, arrested me, took me off to Rikers, where I spent a week, um, and uh, obviously confiscated all my weapons and many of my tools. And uh, the state of New York brought charges against me for criminal uh, we uh, weapons possession. The ATF, by the way, uh, appears to have disappeared shortly after the raid, so they're nowhere to be found. This is a state case, not a federal one. But long story short, New York State now wants to put me in prison for 18 years for felony weapons possession. Their contention is that I should have asked the state of New York for permission before quietly, peaceably, and privately exercising my Second Amendment rights in my home. None of my weapons ever left my house. None of my weapons ever so much as crossed the threshold. You see what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, that's New York's, uh, New York's contention. They want to put me away for 18 years. They offered me a plea deal, eight years instead of 18. I turned them down flat. There was an informal plea in the air, uh, informal offer in the air, excuse me, for five years instead of 18. I turned that down flat, okay? I don't want to go to prison. I know it's a bad place. But I also know that um, I couldn't, I, I wouldn't so much as if, if New York State, if New York State passed a law tomorrow that said black people have to enter public buildings through the colored entrance, I wouldn't comply with that either. 
And if I did it and got arrested and they asked me to plead guilty to trespassing, I'd say, no, that's not criminal trespass. You're out of line. Do you see what I'm saying? So New York State is out of line here. We know this. Our governor is out of line here. We know this. She's behaving in a lawless way. That's not some secret. She said as much publicly. We don't care about the law. We don't care about the Constitution. We don't care about Bruin. We're going to do what we want to do. Well, very well. They can do what they want to do. If they want to lock me up, that's that's their that's their choice. But I won't I won't uh, submit to it by claiming to have done something wrong. I did nothing wrong. Dexter, I have I have two questions I just want to clear up before we let you go there, and I applaud you very much for yes, your sir. bravery and for for fight and just saying screw it. One, you said the ATF just disappeared. I would like to know where they went because they don't just get to show up at your house and kick your door in and then say, oh, sorry, must have had the wrong address. We were looking for tacos and take off. That's not how that works. That's one. And I hear two, the big on tacos. <laughs> and, two, yeah. and two, I would like to know if these things have never crossed your threshold. As you said, you never bragged about them. You never photographed them. You didn't deal with them. They're not part of your broadcast. You have an outstanding voice, by the way, for radio. I'm going to set that aside for the moment. Um, how did they get wind that you had these things? Did you get Excellent. sold out by somebody you bought them from? Excellent question. That is exactly what happened. And by the way, I have a great face for radio too, from what I've been told. Uh, but uh, <laughs> yes, the, <laughs> me too. <laughs> the um, the yes, the ATF drove the search warrant. So remember, this was a joint NYPD ATF task force. So what happened is the ATF has been good. This is not. I'm not the only one this has happened to. By the way, the ATF uh, essentially has been going around to parts manufacturers and demanding customer lists. Some number of those manufacturers complied. And then the ATF would go around to different uh, 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 local PDs and and different states, basically, and say, hey, listen, uh, you should go get this guy and this guy and this guy and this guy. That's what happened here. In fact, NYPD has a, a unit that's dedicated to liaising with ATF in just such a way. So that's what happened. They drove the search warrant on me. And again, I'm not being, this is not a unique case, right? Um, and they were there on the day of the raid, but this was New York jumping out on a New Yorker. That's what this was. And, and, and I, I should add, I know, I know you're short on time, but I should add that what is important about this case, I think is not necessarily me, right? Um, what's important is that people understand, look, you know, you mentioned very kindly that I, I do conservative comment, uh, commentary online, things like that. Conservatives need to get wise to the fact that um, living in red states will not save you. We are going to have to fight these people politically everywhere in order to be safe anywhere. So people, a lot of people say, well, get out of New York. You shouldn't have been in New York, what have you. It's like, listen, that is a, that is, um, how can I be kind? That's loser talk, Okay. Um, retreat is not a strategy, okay? And the people who want to do this to us don't have a minimalist strategy. You never hear communists or Marxists or progressives or Maoists, or whatever you want to call them, you never hear them saying, hey, stay away from that state, it's too, it's too conservative. They want it all. We're playing for all the marbles. So forget about me for a second, right? Um, I'll either win my case locally or I won't, and I'll either go away for a little while or I won't. But the fact is that American citizens who care about this stuff need to understand that we have to fight this as a people. Either we're serious about being a republic or we are not. Either our American cities are American cities or they're not. And that's it. Well, wish you the best of luck, my brother. Dexter, thank you, man. All right. Law Fair, Wisconsin. What's going on tomorrow? Before we get to that, let's talk about this. Let's talk about protecting yourself no matter where you are because the truth is there are a lot of blue places where you're not allowed to carry a weapon so what what do you do if you're there what do you do well let me tell you about Berna, b-y-r-n-a the non-lethal pistol launcher that will stop an evil man from hurting you or someone you love and this is legal i need to stress this in all 50 states no background checks no permits, you get it delivered to your front door. What is it? Whether you're a gun guy like me or someone who hates guns or not allowed to have them, it's a pistol launcher that shoots either pepper ball rounds or tear gas rounds. They will stop a bad man up to 40 minutes of incapacitation while you get away scot-free. I carry a weapon. I love having non-lethal. 
But no matter what, whether you carry or don't, get a Berna pistol launcher. Unless, of course, you're prepared to fight off every evil person in this society in the parking lot tonight. Berna.com slash Jesse saves you a bunch of money. So go. We'll be back. 